Hello and welcome back to Learning Final Cut Pro here at YouSchoolMe. In today's lesson we're going to look at right clicking and shortcut keys. So I'm going to start by launching Final Cut Pro and we'll start with shortcut keys. Now shortcut keys in Final Cut Pro are really important because when you're working on a huge project you're going to be switching between so many different tools so often that going all the way over to the toolbar and manually clicking on it or going up to the menu bar and then selecting an option um, it's going to take so long and really slow down your workflow. So the first thing we can do is if we move over to the toolbar you can see here if I just let my mouse hover over an icon we get a little pop-up and it will tell us the name of the tool but also its shortcut key so the magnifying, uh, the magnifying glass tool is Z um, the slip tool is S razor blade is B so I can just hit B on my keyboard and as you can see it selected that tool and the selection tool is A. Now the great thing about Final Cut Pro is it doesn't just work with the tool palette it works with any button in Final Cut Pro if you want to know what it is just um, leave your mouse over it it will tell you the name of the button and also the shortcut key. Now if we go up to the menu at the top it works in a similar way you can see here if there's a shortcut key for any of these commands it's displayed next to it. So this is shift command N, command O, okay, command W and if you're not sure what some of these symbols are we're just going to bring up um, a, an image of the keyboard and this is the symbol for the command key, this is the symbol for the option key, this is the symbol for control and this is the shortcut symbol for the shift key. So hopefully that will help you identify and master all these shortcut keys. So that was the shortcut keys in Final Cut Pro. I'm not going to give you a list of things you want to use. Um, you just need to find out if you need to keep making freeze frames, shift N. Now we're just going to quickly look at right clicking. Right clicking in different parts of Final Cut Pro will um, give you different results. For example, if I right click in my browser here, you can see it gives me a shortcut menu to many of the common things you'll be doing like creating new bins, sequences, changing the view menus, etc. If I right click on a clip, you can see that our shortcut menu is completely different so it relates specifically to the thing you're clicking on. If you're not sure how to enable right click on the Macintosh if you're using a Mighty Mouse for example which by default is just set up for single click please um, look through our other videos because we have a video on right click on the Mac setting up a Mighty Mouse and that will show you how to set up your right click. So that was right clicking and shortcut keys very briefly in Final Cut Pro. Please subscribe, rate and comment. If you have any requests, post them on our channel. Any questions, message us. And thanks for checking us out. Okay, we'll be back with more soon. Bye.